Uh, hi, um, my name is Siva Devaki. In this uh, demo video, we are going to learn on how to create the HTML email templates using bfree.io editor and how to import them back into massmailer.io. We can go to bfree.editor by typing in bfree.io in the browser uh, URL. Once you go to the home page of uh, bfree, you will see a button called Start Designing. Click on that button, which is going to bring up many email templates that you can um, pick and choose which one would fit in your requirement. You can also start from scratch by clicking on this blue color button right here which says start from scratch. So here uh, there are many and various uh, categories that you can find like special features, behavioral, e-commerce, event, holiday, inaugural, newsletter, transactional industry. Uh, in the newsletter again it will have some uh, sub uh, categories as well and again in the industry it will have various uh, industry related uh, templates like technology, fashion, news, app, B2B, so on and so forth. Um, so today I'm going to pick up this uh, thank you email template just for the sake of uh, demonstration. So I would click on that button which is going to load up uh, that email template shortly and you can see that it's got uh, beautiful images and, uh, and also uh, you can see some social images as well at the bottom and you got certain uh, message right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go quickly uh, change this particular content right there uh, just to include uh, MassMailer address and phone number. And then save this uh, email editor, the email template I mean. So once you have saved it, you can um, see that there's a button that is displayed. I just want to download it. If you click on this but particular button, it is actually going to download uh, the entire HTML content as well as the images. So let's say we go click on this particular button and then uh, it is preparing to download. You can see that it is downloaded a zip file and um, you can navigate back into uh, your explorer and then go to the downloads folder wherever you have uh, downloaded it and then you can click on that particular subfolder um, and then if you open the app that subfolder you will see the html file and also you will see all the images uh, that are already uh, stored in that particular folder. So you would go click on this HTML folder and then open it in any of um, the editors that you may have. Now you have the complete uh, HTML right here. So there are um, basically two things that you need to do. One you would have to import this HTML, meaning copy paste this HTML content, and then go to Salesforce, and then paste into one of your HTML uh, templates, or you can go create a brand new one uh, in Salesforce, and then uh, copy paste this. And at the same time, we also need to import the images uh, that we just downloaded uh, from Bayfree, and uh, you will have to store them back into Salesforce, and also you have to make them uh, enable so that they can be accessible from outside of Salesforce. 
So we're going to demonstrate on how to do that. So to start with, we are actually going to go ahead and then copy this HTML content, Control C, and then you go to Salesforce, and then you go to your templates. So you can find your templates. There are two ways to do it. You can just go to Setup, Quick Find. You can uh, type in templates. It'll bring up the email templates, click on that. And then here, you can actually go start creating a new uh, template by clicking on this button called New Template. And then here, uh, we're going to pick up this third option that's called Custom without using the letterhead. Select that and click on Next. And here, you can store it in any folder. For the sake of uh, the demo, I'm going to pick a folder called Mass Mailer Demo. And I'm going to select this checkbox that's called Available for Use. And then I can give a email template. So here I'm going to just going to say that thanks, uh, thank you email template. And then I would just go click on this next button. Once you did that, it will bring up the subject in the body. So I would uh, paste the HTML content that I just copied in the body section. And in the subject, we can give the name. I'm going to name that as uh, thank you. And then I would just go say next. And here I can copy the text from the HTML version by clicking on this button and then just say OK. And then you're going to save this by clicking on this uh, save button. So once that is done, you can see that in the preview, uh, you will see certain broken images. That is just because we already have the image tags, but the real images are not at import, uh, imported into Salesforce, and also they're not tagged back into the HTML. Uh, so that's going to be the additional step. And if I click on this edit image, uh, edit HTML version, and then I'll try to find the image tag by uh, searching images, and you will find, um, you can also find it basically by searching like this, uh, way in which it will give you the start of the image tag. And you'll find each one of those images having the source as um, images slash symbol.png and then images slash thanks.jpg uh, kind of images. Now if I take you back to the Explorer, you will see all these images in the images folder um, like uh, the thanks and um, also the symbol, the one that we just looked at. So all these images are already there in your folder. Uh, the local uh, desktop or the laptop. We just have to import them back into Salesforce. I'll show you how to do it for one of the images, for example, the thanks uh, image. Um, so the way you're going to do it is you would actually, uh, let's say, open up another browser window of Salesforce. And then you click on this uh, plus button and you will identify the documents tab. Here, you can actually go click on new button to import a new document. I'm going to call this as a thanks image. And then it's important to make sure that you check this externally available image, meaning even though it is stored within Salesforce, anybody can see this as long as you have the, the right image URL in your HTML document. And now, I can go ahead and put this under mass mailer folder and then I would just go click on this choose file and then I'm going to go upload that particular image that I've downloaded from Refree and then I will click on the save button which is going to save the image. Now you see that I have this image that has come up. 
Now the next important thing is I need to right click and copy the image address. Once you did that, you would go back to this particular template and then you're going to find that particular image that is thank you image which is right here and then you're going to paste the or replace the source URL and then you're going to save it and you would have to repeat the same thing for all the images that you have in uh, the HTML I already stored uh, these images earlier which I have the URLs for so for symbol I have this particular URL I'll pick up that and then paste it right there and again I'm gonna find the next image that is gift image right here I will replace that particular image and then I will go to the next one this is Facebook image I have this image URL right here And the next one is Twitter. So I have the image URL for Twitter as well. Next one is Google. All right, I think now we have all the images replaced, the image URLs replaced. You're good to go and I would go hit save button, which is gonna display the images in this particular template. You can actually um, view this in uh, Mass Miller. As an example, if you want to go to email wizard, send an email to your leads and then bring up any view click next and here I'm gonna go pick up the folder mass Miller demo and the template that we just uh, created called thank you email template now you can see that the template that we just stored is showing up and you would just go continue next and you would uh, select any BCC options sender options all of that and then hit submit and you would receive an email with uh, the proper the HTML uh, content. It would show it would show up just in a minute or so. You can see that we received that email, and it's got a nice little images uh, showing up, and we also added the unsubscribe link. All of that is taken care. So it's simple and easy to really go create the HTML template right within uh, BeFree and uh, download them and import them back into Salesforce and also import the document images, uh, the images in the documents uh, folder or the tab and then reference those URLs, image URLs back in the HTML and use them back in 
massmailer.io at the mass email template editor. So it's so quick and easy and uh, any questions that you have, uh, feel free to reach out. We are here to help you out, always. Uh, you can reach us at uh, massmailer.io. You can start a free trial and you can personally contact me if you have any questions um, at my email address, siva.devaki at massmailer.io or call us at 1-800-297-0991 uh, or you can also email us at uh, a hello at massmiller.io any questions that you have we are here to help thank you so much once again for watching this video